prosecution is gonna try to convince you that I am a fraud. Who not only didn't pass the bar or go to law school, he didn't even graduate college. There isn't one piece of hard evidence proving that I didn't go to Harvard Law. There is no record of tuition being paid. No record of a Boston address. There isn't even a simple picture in the yearbook. Let's talk about the yearbook. As he told you, I'm not in the yearbook. Where is Mike Ross? Now, what he didn't tell you is that 25 other students are also not in this yearbook. Are those other students being charged with fraud? Of course not, because we don't put people on trial for being sick on picture day. And no matter what he says, the fact is Mike Ross is not a lawyer. He's a fraud, and we will prove that beyond a shadow of a doubt. The defense would like to call its first witness. Right there. He's such a non-lawyer, he doesn't even know the prosecution goes first. And you obviously don't know Jarvis v. The State of New York, 1937, when calling of the first witness is of such special nature as to disrupt the flow of the trial once it started. What the hell special nature are you talking about? When the defense wants to call the prosecutor as its first witness. Harvey, unless you have something to overturn this, I'm gonna need you to have a seat. Mr. Spector, you said there's no record of me ever having an apartment in Boston. Can you explain to the jury why there's no record of you ever having lived there? I'm not the one on trial here. No, you're not. You're the one in that chair, so why don't you answer the question or we can stop this whole thing right now. There's no record of me living there because I sublet up there when I had my place down here. So it is possible that a person not have a Boston address without it meaning that they didn't attend Harvard. Great. Thank you so much. This witness is excused. What exactly is your reason for not having an address up there? Unless you're too afraid to answer my questions. No, I'm not afraid of you at all. My reason is that I chose to live with my friend Trevor during that time. The only problem with that is your friend Trevor has lived in Brooklyn his entire life. Exactly, a three hour and 20 minute drive from Harvard. So you say you made that drive every day? No, I only went up for tests because that's all I had to do. I guess you needed some extra tutoring, huh? You expect these people to believe that you graduated from the most competitive law school in the world without ever going to class? See, that's funny, because you actually expect these people to believe that I never went to law school at all, and yet still somehow managed to convince the smartest lawyers in the world to make me their youngest partner ever. Whose story is looking more far-fetched now? Oh, no answer? Great. No more questions, Your Honor. I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but he's kicking your ass. And I'm about to kick back. Are you two discussing something that defense should be made aware of? Just talking about the Knicks. Now's the prosecution ready to call their first witness? The prosecution's first witness is this affidavit from every single member of the defendant's supposed graduating class. Objection, Your Honor. I haven't seen that. Well, then let me read it to you. We collectively come forward to swear the following regarding Michael James Ross. We never saw him. We never knew him. We never heard of him. And it makes us sick that he's taking the good name of Harvard Law School and throwing it down the toilet. Please find him guilty on all counts. Your Honor, I move to strike that document right now. On what grounds? On the grounds that it's completely fabricated. Where's your proof? Besides the fact that I actually went to Harvard, there's no way you could have contacted all of those people since last night. Then I suggest you call every one of these people and put them on the stand. But when you do, every single one of them is gonna look you in the eye and say, who the hell are you? What? No snappy comeback? You can try to trick these people all you want, but the fact is, you didn't go to Harvard, and this proves it. Objection, he's testifying. What I'm doing is winning. All right, that's enough. I think this is a good time to take a break. You son of a bitch, this isn't real. I don't give a shit whether it's real or not. You think Gibbs isn't gonna do things like that? She is not gonna enter false evidence, and you know it. But she is gonna set up traps for you to bungle into, like I just this did. This is such bullshit. You were just pissed because I was kicking your ass, so now you're cheating. Me? You're the one who testified in your opening statement, and every chance you get. Because that's exactly what me being my own lawyer gives us. I don't care. If I represent you, and it turns out that you need to testify, we can call you up to the stand. And if we do that, then Gibbs gets to cross-examine me and make me look like a liar. Well, I don't know if you've noticed, but you're looking like a liar right now. And I'm trying to keep you from looking like a fool. You know what? I'm getting pretty tired of you using that word with me. Too bad, because for all your bullshit up there, you still can't produce one person who remembers you from Harvard. So, if you want to have a chance of representing yourself, get out of my face and go work on your defense, because I got a lot more where that came from. <laughs>